Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure uh, a DHCP server using Cisco Packet Tracer. Uh, let me add one PC to our topology and uh, I'll add one switch also, a basic to switch. And I will add one server. We will configure this server as a, a DHCP server. Let me add one more machine also here. And let's put one router also, which you configure as a default gateway. Now I'm going to connect them with the straight cable from the PC to the switch again from the second PC to the switch and from the server to the switch finally from the router to the switch gig interface so this topology we have two PC connected to a switch and we have a server connected in the same uh, switch also we have a router uh, let me configure a yeah, IP address in this uh, router I'm going to give the IP address like 192.168.1.1 So this IP we keep as a default gateway in our uh, DHCP server Now let's see what is the uh, default uh, configuration on the PCs So in the PC, the IP configuration right now it is static. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And uh, now let's configure this server. So I'm going to configure the IP address for the server first. 192.168.1. Let's say 200. Default gateway. I'm giving the router uh, interface IP address. Here is I'm just giving a IP address 888. Now uh, to uh, configure the DHCP, um, I have to go into the services. Under services, you have all the services that you can do uh, for the server. I'm going to click on this uh, DHCP. And DHCP, um, you can see the services off on. You have to click on, and uh, the pool name. You can change the name or you can leave it as it is. So the default gateway, 192.168.1.1. So when the PC uh, sends a request, so this IP uh, will be set as a default gateway, and whatever uh, IP I'm giving as DNS here, that will be configured in the IP. And uh, so below that you can see the start IP. Um, we can give, let's say, uh, 192.168.1.10. So the PC will start getting IP from 10. And uh, let's say I give only 100 here. So the IP address, the starting IP address, I give 192.168.1.10. The subred pass slash 24. And the maximum number of users, I given only 100. So you will get IP starting from 10. Uh, and the uh, total number of IPs will be uh, 100. So I'm going to uh, save this. So you can see here right now uh, below in the server pool we have only GFAL DNS is 0. So when I save uh, whatever values are given here for default gateway, uh, DNS, that IP range, everything what added in this. So you can see the pool name, default gateway, DNS, the start IP. 
uh, the supplant mask the maximum user so uh, it's very simple uh, in Cisco packet tracer you have to just give the default value DNS the start IP is mask and number of users so that when a DHCP request uh, you know a discovery packet comes to this server it will assign IP starting from 10 so now I'm going to close this so this PC um, let's see what is there in the command prompt so right now there is no IP address you can see it is everything is zero and now I'll go to desktop so in desktop um, you have to click on this IP configuration and click on DHCP so you can see it is requesting the IP address and it got the IP address immediately that is 192.168.1.10 and the mask slash 24 and default gateway 192.168.1.1 and DNS server whatever we given now let me go to the command prompt so the command prompt earlier we saw it was showing zero now the same command I'm giving IP config and you can see the IP is assigned here now with the default gateway. You can give IP config slash all. So in this output will show the, the DNS IP also and the DHCP server IP. Now again if I click static and then DHCP, you can see again it is requesting and the next IP came that is 192.168.1.11 so again 10 came um, let me close this one let's go to this PC this is another PC in our topology and uh, let's go to the so I'm inside the desktop so in the command prompt IP config right now nothing is there So let's go to IP configuration. Click on DHCP. So you got the 11 because 10 was already configured uh, in the PC. Every time I request, it comes like 11 only. Now let's go to the CLI. So I am in the command prompt. Now you can see the IP slash all so this one also came from our DHCP server 192.168.1.200 that we have configured and let's see whether we can ping the default gateway 192.168.1.1 gateway is HB DHCP server I am pinging that is also reachable so the other IP address was 10 the other PC IP address so the other PC also I'm able to ping. So that's the procedure how you can configure uh, a DHCP uh, using uh, you know Cisco Packet Tracer and see how the PC is uh, connected to that uh, LAN network getting the IPs automatically.